have a saying in my country. An Englishman marries his wife, but he loves his house. Actually, we don't have that saying at all. I just invented it, but I think we should have it. Have you had a lot of dealings with estate agents? A few. Do you like them? No. <laughs> Why is it not? Um, they lie. This castle is under a flight path. It's not under a flight path. It's close to Lucas RAF Air Base. Distinctive brickwork. It's a local brick. It's quite nice. I hope it comes with this picture, Michael. Um, as, again, something that can be negotiated with my client. Um, and when you come in, you'll do some landscaping and cover up the oil tank and that sort of thing. The huge water tank. God! In Britain, we have one national bureau that deals with the public's complaints about estate agents. And I've come to look round. They want some kind of punishment to be met out to the agent. Unfortunately, that's not our role, and we have to explain that to them. But... What would really calm down would be if you were to go, yes, madam, we're just loading up the machine guns right now. Unfortunately, the, uh, the ombudsman is not empowered to use uh, heavy weaponry. I'm going to have to get on with estate agents because I'm about to embark on a great house hunting expedition. An Englishman's home is his castle. That's probably the most famous, unique proverb ever to have come out of my tiny but important island. This is the, the absolute top. I don't think you can do better as a castle in Scotland. It's, it's got the lot. And how much of this land would I own? Um, I think you'd get about 50 acres. Would I have serfs? Um, I don't think you'd call them serfs. You'd have to pay them, but you'd probably do with some domestic help. Standing here, I understand the true meaning of the old castle proverb. We Brits use property to project ourselves as powerful. That's why the saying is an Englishman's home is his castle, and not his cottage or shack or kennel.